It's a rags to riches story. But these guys who were really headed in the wrong direction, um, who still kind of were headed in the wrong direction, even as they were heading in the right direction, but they became, you know, singing superstars and uh, kind of took that from the streets, Jersey energy into the recording studio and became really a phenomenon. The Four Seasons, unlike other groups in the 60s, were not on the cover of teen magazines. Their life stories weren't really well known. People knew the music, but when they came to see Jersey Boys on Broadway, it was the first time that they were discovering the story behind the music and these really colorful Jersey, you know, American Jersey characters, you know, that uh, are, are now part of American lore. Clint is a real music aficionado and really knows music and knows live music and loves live music. And uh, it seemed like it would be an interesting challenge. And also I thought, well, that how great for us and for Clint that he's using people who are used to singing it live on stage every day and we'll sing it live on set and we'll, well let's let's see how that works. Chris Walken, when I saw that he was announced for Egypt to Carl, it was just, you know, like, well, perfect casting. <laughs> so excited to to do this to do this movie with him. And uh, and he showed up on set and everyone was just really excited to be playing with him because he's I mean the perfect casting for the character. Jersey Boys has opened up that period of music again for a lot of people and also for me as a singer. I mean, it's, uh, there's some fantastic, fantastic songs there that I don't think anybody has really ever considered that are old enough now to be standards.